Hello and welcome back to Pixapia. Today I will continue my series about how to find trends for your Redbubble store. And today we're going to go over one of the tools I use and that is bubblespider.com. So let's move over to my computer. So here we are at bubblespider.com. This is a totally free website and it's created specifically for Redbubble. At the top here, we see the tools. And if we click the little down arrow, we see what tools we have. Popular keywords, tag generator, top trends, trend finder, and best sellers. To the right here, you have a little symbol. You can be logged in. I am right now. But you can also use it without logging in. The first thing we see is examples of top selling Amazon Merch t-shirts. If we scroll down a little bit, we have popular Redbubble keywords, which was the first two. You can see when it was updated and you can use this for English, German, French and Spanish. Then we have a search bar where we can search for a keyword we are interested in. And we have the TM trademark score. You can mark here the green means that there is no trademark for the keyword you're searching for. Yellow means that there might be trademark pending. And red is a word that has trademark. The information about trademarks come from USPTO, which stands for United States Patent and Trademark Office. Here you can choose if you want to see, for example, what I usually do. I just search for keywords that are not trademarked or not pending trademark. So I unclick the yellow and the red. Then you can set your trends by using these sliders. And you can set a max of competition. And then the, you see rank. That is overall rank, trend, and if it's rising or falling, competition, and you can check products on both Redbubble and Amazon, the keywords used, and if there are specific categories, you see them underneath there. You can also see Google Trends if you click here. The last one is the TM. As you see, I have just the green TM marked in this example. All of these you can change order from highest to lowest or vice versa. This is trending upwards to number one. It is ranked number two right now. The competition is 9600 and the keywords is best knitting mom ever. And it, you can find it on t-shirts, stickers and clothing. And let's take a look at Google Trends for those best knitting mom ever you can see it has a couple of spots where it peaked up but it is probable to rise and maybe that is because mother's day here in the u.s is coming in may but let's try to search and let's use one of the words i did in my last video use coffee number one is just the word coffee it's num rising from number 28 but the competition here is really high and google trends hold it pretty steady but if we keep on scrolling we can see coffee give me power dogs books and coffee and so forth so if i want to set my competition here my competition i don't want things a higher competition than 2000 you see that it totally changed the words we got here. But that's how you can work with the Redbubble keywords, search terms. Next, we have the tag generator. And let's keep on using the word coffee and find tags. Find the most used tags from the top 100 ranking designs. You can change this to top 10, top 25, top 50 or top 100 so let's go with top 10 and here we see we can choose how many tags maybe we want to see 20 so coffee it's used by 80 percent latte 
cute and so forth. And you see how many percent have used them. When you find, let's say we want the 10 tags, 10 most popular tags. Here we have them. You can copy them to your clipboard and use them for your upload. I usually copy them and put them on a little notepad somewhere. So I have them saved for late. So that was tag generator. Let's now look at top trends. And this is trending words. This is last updated about 10 hours ago. And here we have the trending words. The first one, life in C. I have no idea what that is. Competition is 11 and it has been trending since today. And if we click on red bubble here, we can see what is there. You can also search here, coffee. And the trending right now, half nail tech, half coffee. 30 in the competition and it's trending since today. If you want to see what has been trending for a longer time, you can just since six days. Fueled by iced coffee and anxiety, coffee hog and coffee spelled backwards. Trend finder. Let's try trend finder with the word coffee. And here we have coffee spelled backwards, coffee hog, coffee cat. Coffee is my preferred reinforcer and fueled by iced coffee and anxiety. These are trending on Redbubble right now in this moment. And the last one is best sellers. And here we have best sellers overall. And their top best seller is this shirt with street cats. So you can see the rank. And here you would see if it's rising or falling. You see the product itself. You can see, you see the title of it, who made it and how many bestsellers this person has. You can also see all the tags that are used for this specific product. And lastly, you can see tag spam. And tag spam is when can be many several things. For Redbubble, they define tag spam. And let me read now so I get it all right. Tags that are inappropriate, irrelevant, misleading, long form. For example, if you write I love coffee as one word without spaces. Repeated, numbered. If you write coffee one, coffee two as one word. And if you use other artists' name in your tags. Out of these tags 16 percent in this case are considered spam and on this side site we can also search so if i continue with my coffee search word here we can see best selling on redbubble is this worship coffee t-shirt design six percent of these tags are spammed and as you can see love coffee is one of those they wrote love coffee as one word it's ranked 15 overall it's made by Stephen Rhodes and he has 51 bestsellers I hope this gave you an overview over bubble spider in my next video I will go over my probably most favorite website for finding trends and that is pod cs until then goodbye